All right, today we're going to teach you how to build the mason jar speaker kit. Now we want to be really careful because there's some very small parts in this. We did give you one extra flathead screw and one extra button head screw. You got your speaker, wooden top, toggle switch, PCB or printed circuit board, two LEDs, battery holder. We call this a header and this is a 3.5 millimeter jack. You got the metal band and a wide mouth mason jar and the bag it all came in. So let's get started. The first step is to solder the 3.5 millimeter jack onto the board. You want to make sure that the jack fits nice and flat on the circuit board and then flip it over and complete five solder joints. Next we're going to install the right angle header for the battery connector. So you're going to put it in the board like that and then flip it over and solder two joints on the back side. Next we're going to solder the male header. So insert the crimped ends into the circuit board and this one should stay in by itself and then flip it over and complete two solder joints. Now we're going to put the LEDs onto the board. You'll notice that the LED has a shorter lead and a longer lead. The shorter lead goes in the plug with a square. So go ahead and put the shorter lead in the square, longer lead in the circle for guitar and MP3. Flip it over and then it helps to bend the leads so that the LEDs don't fall out when you're soldering them. And go ahead and complete four solder joints. Now that we've soldered the LEDs, we're going to snip off the extra leads so they're not so long. Now we're going to solder the toggle switch. So put it on the side that says switch on this side for jar. You might have to bend the leads a little bit to get them to fit in the holes, but once you get it on there, make sure it's flush on the board, nice and flat. And then turn it over and complete eight solder joints. Now we're going to screw the speaker onto the wooden face. So we have the face with the side that says Made in USA facing up. And what I find works well is to screw in one screw a little bit. And then we're going to put the speaker in with the wires kind of facing away from this hole down here. And then I'm going to line up the other side and put this screw in. Now you want to tighten these screws down but you don't want to over tighten them so just kind of take a look from the side and then you'll figure out when they're tight enough now we're going to attach the battery holder to the bottom of the speaker again we gave you three flathead screws we've already used the button head screws to screw the speaker in and you should have had one extra now you should have one extra flathead screw or if you lose one then you'll still be still be cool but I'm just gonna put this on here and line the holes up and then drop the screw in there and screw it on and you want the wire kinda coming off down this way towards the bottom so I'm gonna tighten this and then I'm gonna put the other screw in and you want to tighten it until the screw is head is flush with the bottom of the battery pack but don't over tighten it because you could strip the wood next we're going to install the printed circuit board on the speaker assembly you'll notice that there's a nut here on the toggle switch 
and a nut on the 3.5 millimeter jack. So I'm going to take those off, put them aside for a second, and then I'm going to put it so the toggle switch is going through the center hole here, and the, the uh, 3.5 millimeter jack comes through to input. And now I'm going to put these nuts back on. Tighten that down and then you'll notice that this has two notches on it. So if you put those facing outward, you can start it with your fingers and then get something like a ruler or a coin and use that to tighten it up a little bit. Now we're going to hook up the speaker to the printed circuit board. So this header says speaker. Remember that red is positive, black is negative. So just plug it in like that. All right, the last step is to screw on the battery pack and attach it to the circuit board. So let's attach it first. Again, it's really important that you make sure that the black wire is connected to negative, red wire is connected to positive. Once I've plugged it in, then I'm going to go ahead and twist it around like this. Let me grab my screw. So we gave you three flathead screws. We gave you one extra, and you're going to use two here to attach this. So. Drop them in like that. Find those holes. Screw it in. Grab the other one. Screw it in. Now screw them down until the top of the screw head is flush with the bottom of the battery holder but no need to over tighten these, you might strip the wood. Now we're going to insert three AAA batteries. This should give you 15 to 20 hours of battery life. Once I have those in in the correct orientation, I'm going to put it in the mason jar and screw on the lid. Alright, we're ready to test out our speaker. So I'm going to plug this into the input, I'm going to plug this into my iPod, I'm going to switch this upward to MP3, and you'll notice the MP3 LED turned on. I'm going to push play. And you can hear that the volume of the music is controlled by your device. Now, guitar mode is a louder setting, typically used for the guitar, but if you turn down your iPod, you can switch it over. And the center position is off. Your mason jar speaker can also be used as a practice guitar amp. Using a quarter inch adapter, plug that into your guitar, plug the cord in there, switch it to guitar mode, and give it a strum. <laughs> you've enjoyed putting this kit together and we hope you have many hours of music enjoyment and please send us a picture or write us an email letting us know about how your experience was putting together our kit thanks a lot rock on